channel. This video is going to be an intro for a Grey's Anatomy themed panning project. The name of the project is hashtag Grace Junkie. It was created by Angela here on YouTube and her channel is Beauty by Angela and Kyra here on YouTube as well. And her channel is Journey in Beauty. You guys need to check out their channel. I'm sure you're gonna fall in love with them. I do a lot of painting projects, but they do more. I don't know how that's possible. Uh, there are a few other ladies collaborating in this project and I'll have their channels listed down below as well in the description box. I will also link their or list their uh, Instagram accounts, so make sure to check them out both on YouTube and Instagram. This project starts on September 6th, so today I am uploading this video, um, and it ends on March 6th, so it's a six-month project uh, with monthly updates. So every sixth of each month, we will do an update. Um, the requirements for the project or what other ladies are doing are five products minimum and maximum of however many products they, um, they think they can handle. I only picked seven. <laughs> I do have a lot of other projects going on, so seven was my limit, and uh, yeah, that, that was it for me, seven. Um, the idea of the project is uh, getting quotes from the show and uh, transforming or interpreting these quotes and relating them to products in our collection that we would like to finish or, you know, move out of our collection. I did pick few quotes that really spoke to me and I related them to some products that I have in my collection that I just you know it was like oh perfect this is my opportunity to use or finish or whatever with this product so let's get into it let's get into the first one I'll tell you the quote and I'll tell you the interpretation of the quote and I'll tell you what product I have and what my goals for it are um, the first one is by Derek Shepard, and the quote is, It's a beautiful day to save lives. Let's have some fun. Um, I have my computer in front of me because there was no way I was going to memorize all these quotes. So the way that we interpreted this quote, or Kyra and Angela did, is they said, A product you haven't had fun with yet. And I kept thinking, what do I have in my collection that I really haven't used yet? I haven't, you know, got a chance to, you know, use it, try it or anything like that. I knew I was not going to put makeup for this quote because there's no way that I can finish a makeup product in six months. Maybe like a small sample size lipstick or mascara. But anyway, I did not want to put makeup, so I put skincare item. And the item that I did put in is this uh, Dr. Brand Pore Dermabrasion Pore Perfecting Exfoliator. I did receive this in a boxy charm a couple months back, and look, or maybe a while back, probably a year ago. And it's just been sitting in my collection. I haven't used it, I haven't touched it, I haven't done anything with it. So I want to use this product up. I think I can in six months. So it's brand new, like I said, but I can see like there's a lot of void in here. Probably half the product is void. I think the product starts at around this line right here. So halfway. I would really like to finish this product and move it out of my collection. Um, the directions in the back say to use uh, one to two times per week allowing three days between application so maybe every Sunday Wednesday I will be using this product and uh, yeah I really hope to be able to finish it and um, you know I want to finish it I want to get rid of it okay the next quote is uh, by Meredith Gray I'm an evil mistress as well as a quote by George O'Malley and it says, but still, you look nice. Or I think it was a conversation they had together. Um, the, the interpretation of this quote or this line is a product that makes you feel sexy. <sighs> That's kind of was a hard one because I always feel sexy with a red lipstick. But I already have red lipstick in one of my um, projects. So I did not want to put another red lipstick. And I had to really think about it how I feel sexy or what my husband really likes on me is when I have shimmery body lotion that smells nice. So the product that I picked out is this. 
It is Amber Romance Shimmer by Victoria's Secret. I know there's a lot of products still in here because it's still very heavy, but it's very hard to see um, like where the product is, but I can feel it. It's very heavy. It smells absolutely amazing. It's shimmery. My legs look glowy. Um, I feel sexy when I use this product. So I would like to use this product, completely finish it and get it out of my collection. And I think it's really good timing for it because I think this came out around the holiday, maybe. I wanna say it was around the holiday because of all the, like all the stars on the product over here. So, you know, kinda related it, sexy holiday shimmer. I don't know if that relates, but I'm gonna go with it. Here's a long quote by Jackson Avery, and it is, the key is to think of yourself as one of the who's down in Whoville. You know, when the Grinch came down and stole all of their presents, didn't let that ruin Christmas for them. You know, instead, they came out on Christmas morning and they sang. You're gonna go into that surgery and you're gonna sing, sing, Cindy Lou, sing. Okay, so this is a product that reminds me of Christmas as well. It was kind of like interpretation between this one and the next one. I really wanted to use both of these products, so... I call that a product that makes me feel sexy and I'm calling this product a product that reminds me of Christmas. And the product that I'm talking about is this Stila uh, Glitter and Glow in the shade Smoky Storm. This is my first makeup product in this project. Um, I bought these last Christmas, I believe. Yeah, it was last Christmas. Um, it was like a holiday set. This is the small guy. There were three in there and it just reminds me of Christmas. Sparkly, tinsel, it's just Christmas to me. I really would like to get more use out of this product. I've only used it like two or three times. I would really like to get more use out of it. I don't know if my goal is to finish this product, but I definitely want to get more use out of it. Okay, next product is, or next quote is by Adele Weber. And the quote is, don't look at me like that, like I'm damaged good. I'm still me, I'm still here. So the interpretation of this quote is a product that is damaged but you still use it. Um, I wasn't planning on putting this product in this project at all. I, I was happy just having six products and um, I read over the quotes again, I was like, ha ha, I know exactly what product I'm gonna put in here. And the product that I'm talking about is this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Blossom Glow. I recently ordered this from Ulta. I bought it when they had that uh, Platinum Appreciation, Platinum thing, so 10 times the points, and they had the Wet n Wild highlighters on there. Um, and I received it very well damaged. I think I can finish it. I don't I don't think there's quite a bit of product left because a lot of it was damaged and broken off. So this was the perfect product to put in for that quote. All right, I have three more. Uh, this one is by George O'Malley and it the quote is, I believe if you were dead, the world would be a better place. And the interpretation of this quote is a product that just won't die. Oh man. I've been using this product for what feels like forever, at least a year, and it just is still going. I really wanna finish it. I wanna finish it as much, I wanna finish of it as much as possible in the next six months. And if it's not done by then, then it's going to the trash. And this is the Senna Brow Fix. Um, I got my brow shaped a while back and the lady that shaped my brow, she gave me this product. She was like, oh, you're gonna absolutely love it holds the brows really well in place. Um, it does really hold them very well in place. The color like, goes really well with my natural brow color, but this product just keeps on going and going and going. Uh, I'm just ready for it to be done. So I'm gonna use it and by the end of the six months, hopefully it's gone. I tend to use it like daily or every time I do my makeup, I use that product. So. We'll see, we'll see if it's gonna be gone. Next one is by Alex Karav, and the quote is, don't analyze everything, just do it. And the interpretation, the interpretation of this quote is uh, a gimme product. So for me, a gimme product was kind of a sheet mask 
But since I was like, okay, it's a gimme, so I'm gonna put two in here. They're the same, um, the same kind of sheet mask. Um, I mean, if I use one of them every three months, which I hope I can use them more often than that, I will be done with them. And these are the BioBell Facial Mask Perfect Radiance Hashtag Unicorn Glow. I got these in an Ipsy bag and I wanna use them. Um, they're my gimme products, so there. I know it's two, not one, but it's okay. I'm happy with it. And the last item, the last quote is, there comes a point when you have to suck it up and stop whining and start living. And this is by Kelly Torres. The interpretation for this product is a product you aren't thrilled about panning. And again, I went through my collection, like I've been thinking about this um, project for a few months now and Every time, like, I just moved, so when I'm packing, like, thinking about products and stuff like that. And one product that I do have in my collection, I don't love it and I don't hate it. It's just kind of like, I want to be done with it, but I don't want to use it because it doesn't do a very good job. And the product is this uh, Sephora Supreme Cleansing Oil. Um, I marked my starting point, which is right here, a little less than half the product left. Um... I use it to take off my makeup so this will be my first my um uh, my second my first cleanser i'm trying to think how do i clean my face um actually it's my second because i use technically use three cleansers but so this would be my second cleanser i take off my makeup and then i use this product to take off everything else and then i use clarisonic with another cleanser to take every everything off and this is not very good um it takes off, cleans a little bit, but does not clean too much. Like I still go, when I go with my Clarisonic, there's still product on my face that comes out. Um, I'm not very happy using it. I just wanna use it because I wanna go back to my uh, Tatcha cleansing oil. That product is so much better. Well worth the price tag. Um, this was like 15, $18 maybe. The Tatcha one is a lot more expensive. So I thought this could be a replacement for the Tatcha and I would rather buy the Tatcha product over this. So I'm not very thrilled about panning it, but I want to pan it and I just want to finish it and go back to my Tatcha product. So that's it. That's my last product. Seven products total. Um, again, check out the description box so you can see the other ladies' um, uh, YouTube pages and you can watch their intros. And come back every month to watch my updates. And I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this little intro video. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.